All right, hey everyone, Waterbot here, and welcome to Dof Romantic as part of the Super Indie Game Lightning Round slash the Bundle for Racial Equality, or Racial Justice and Equality. There we go. I was like, I missed a bit there, uh, where I play a whole bunch of random indie games for charity uh, as part of this giant bundle. It's super good, and if you want to pick up 742 amazing games... Uh, for insultingly low prices, I would highly recommend you check it out. Uh, but for now, let's try and figure out how to play this. So build a village with three houses, uh, a group of three fields, two villages. Okay, so it's a puzzle game. And this is just a forest. Now, can I cycle between anything? You can see forests. Okay. So it looks like it's almost kind of Tetrisy. This makes sense. Now can I rotate anything? No, it doesn't look like it. Well, if I if I do that, oh. I got it. Oh, build two villages with a maximum of four houses each. All right, I got to work on this one. We also have a railroad. Oh, no, it is rotating. Okay. So every time I bring it on and off, it connects in a different manner. Okay. Or this one does not rotate. Okay, so we're done with that one. Group of fields with 15 trees. Now that's like an uber field. Build a village with 12 houses, build, build five villages. Oh boy. I'm gonna put that there. That one's that's a mess. Uberfield. That there. Alright. Extend that. This is this makes everything here makes sense. It is weird as hell, but it makes sense. Uh let's see. We do not want to constrain much of this. I guess I'll just put that there for the time being. Uh, dead end the rail line there for the time being. This is weird. I like it. Uh, that expand, expands a lot of that. Nope. Let's just have that one go out straight. Some more houses here. Turn those, mainly just because I don't have space. Group of fields with 27 trees. Well, I think I'm doing great on that regard. Okay, where do I want to put this one? Probably up here-ish? I guess I can do that. That expands. That gets me a lot. We've built five villages. I'm... Not entirely sure if that qualifies as a village, to be totally honest with you. Let's see. This one here? Yeah. Because this one... Let's see. This was... Does this one... This one rotates based on what's in it. I'll put it there. That's a nice little dead end for the village. Oh, good. I can move things around. I got it. <clears throat> wonder what the limitations for placing the tiles are. Every time you complete one of these quests, you get three tiles, four tiles, five tiles. Uh, the limitations are kind of minor, but the main thing is you're going to run out of tiles eventually, and so you're trying to keep it going for as long as possible. Uh, do you guys remember the game? I played it a while back. I'm losing. I really am losing my voice here. That's bad. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> okay, there we go. Not really. Anyway, okay, there we go. So this game is a lot like that Islands game I played a long time ago. Uh, I think it was last year, but effectively, you are trying to chain as long as possible before you run out of tiles. So I currently have 26. Every time I complete one of these, I will get another tile. And I, I just presumably keep doing this until I run out. So two villages with at least five houses. Build six villages with maximum of four each. Okay, that gets me a little bit more. I want to keep extending the train tracks out. Space some of this out a little bit, just so we have some room elsewhere. <clears throat> I wonder if we don't have four groups of fields because they're starting to become contiguous. All right, I'm going to put that there. So six villages, maximum of four. So that counts. Okay, cool. So we do need a village that is very high in population. Uh, let's see. Group of 131 trees. This seems like a fairly reasonable area. I gotta keep it going. Uh, let's see. That there. Wait. Let's see. Well, that just kind of loops it in the worst possible train configuration I think I've ever seen. Uh, that's okay. Okay, there we go. Group of 131 trees. So I guess this is not disconnected. I am a bit surprised. Group of fields with 45 trees. These are probably the fields with the trees. Well, that doesn't have any. Two villages with at least five houses each. So this this is a village. There we go. So that gets me five tiles. So, field with trees. I think that counts. That's just field. Field with trees. All right, we got it. That counts. Three villages with at least seven houses each. Oof. That's a... That's a steep ask. Just kind of want to keep extending that rail line as far as it'll freaking go. Just because I can. Uh, let's see. Keep expanding these. Expanding that. Loads of trees. Now, does this one rotate? No. So a lot of them will not rotate. I can kind of put that there. Do I put you? House on its own. Could put a house over here. I'm going to do that. Probably a bad idea. So a village with 33 trees. Oof. Surprised this doesn't count. Oh, so now you now you can actually see the uh, the divisions. So different forests, different fields. This field is massive, but that's okay. I want to get one where the house is on the other side. I don't think we're going to get that. All right, whatever, it goes there. We have another dead end. I'll just put that th that one there. E. There's a lot of trees, but it's not a lot of houses. 
I wonder if I can surround it, though. Did it count? No, it does not. Okay. Maybe if I en encompass it in its entirety, it'll count. Let's see, we also do need separate groups of trees. Well, this should count. Yeah, so it has to be a specific village tile, and it has to be continuous. Nothing else will count. I understand. Last tile. I can, I can probably do better next time around. So, overall, 83 tiles on the ground. This is really cool. Alright, so how do I start over? That? No. I have zero left. It doesn't seem like there's an UI or anything of the sort? Huh. Alright, whatever. I guess we're just gonna alt F4. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do at least one or two more of that. That is really this is really cool. No, I was trying to escape, I was trying to tab, I was trying a bunch of different things. Not that it matters too much. Uh, this almost feels like the kind of game that would be best as a mobile mobile game, more than anything else. But it works fine for what it is. Okay. I guess I was recording that entire time. Eh, it's fine. So we got to build two villages, build a village with three houses, group of fields, and we've got a lot, and I mean a lot, of train tracks. Okay, I'm gonna put the forest over there. Okay, so we've got a group of three f three fields, really? Oh, a group with three fields. Got it. So we got to do two villages. I'll start the other one over here. Two groups of trees. I think I got to set them apart better. I think I'm going to do that. Is this all one town? Okay, that is all one town. It's kind of what I was looking for. Okay, so that's that's the first one that is not considered part of the same forest. Uh, I don't want to handle that one. Okay, two two groups of fields. Perfect. Yeah, because I'm trying to complete as many of these quests as I possibly can. Okay, village with 26 trees. We got a lot. Two villages with at least three houses each. I'm going to just slap that one over here. Now we need village tiles. Group of fields with nine trees. And four groups of trees. Now this field barely has any trees. This field has a decent amount. It's not great. Okay. Village with 26 trees. Well, this village has a decent amount. Build a group of fields with nine trees. This has some... going to do that. Alright, so that works. Uh, four groups of trees. And this is more train town. Uh, I'm just going to extend that through. So four groups of trees. That's one. That's doesn't count. Because this one has a fair bit of trees going through it. Gosh, you really have to separate those out. Village with 17 houses. Boy. Boy howdy. Well, do we want to just glom them together? All right, 21 houses. Now I got to work on getting more villages than I already have. 
More villages than my body has room for. Uh, bam. We don't have a whole lot of good divider groups here. Oh, I should have separated that out better. I got 27 pieces. That's okay. Okay, three groups of trees. That's, this is tough. I'm curious. If I put that there, okay, it is contiguous. So it, you don't actually have to connect the fields together. They just have to be field types. I've been trying to get the fields like actually connected, but no, it just has to be a, a field house area. Okay, so we've got a couple of villages. I'm gonna build five. Put this one over here. Where do we even put the last one? Okay, that's a separate village. I think we only have four, though. A group of 17 fields. Plunk that there. Yeah, now that I'm paying attention to all of these, this is cool. Two villages with at least five houses. Done. Also, welcome to Railroad Central. Holy butts. All right, sure. All right. I'm going to put this here. We want to just extend far. Look at separate villages. So I gotta make one more. I put that one there. Okay, so I've got three villages with a maximum of four. I can do that better somewhere. There we go. Okay. Four groups, four groups of fields. Ooh, I have not been working on that one. Also build eight villages. I have not been working on that one either. But that gets me another group of trees, because it counts. It has trees in it. Okay, so... Four groups of fields. Ooh. Right, if I put that there... We need one more village. I guess I'll put it there. We, this is starting to look a little bit more haphazard, which I'm less than keen on. But that's okay. So, group of fields with 39 trees. This one doesn't have any. This one does. So, let's go back to fields and just kind of extend this golden nonsense location. And this is all part of the same town, yeah? Yeah. Cool. We'll use that. Let's see. Village with trees. Four groups of fields. Oh, right. I need to separate that out. A lot more than I have been. Let's put that there for the time being. It's a good spacer. We'll figure it out. So, four groups of fields. Bam. Okay. A village with 56 trees, village with 27 houses, and a group of 131 trees. 
If I just keep extending this... Oh. It's not all connected. But I might be able to connect, connect them all the same. Start working on that. Uh, let's see. This is nothing but trains. Actually, let's extend them this way. These are just generic forest blocks, so I'm just going to put them there. Maybe I shouldn't have. No, I should have actually had that up in, up in there. All right, whatever. There we go. Okay, back to villages. So do I connect these? Now, I'll just slap them up in there. This area is already connected anyway. Eight villages, maximum four houses each. Yeah, so we need some small villages. If I start cannibalizing them too much, then we run into problems. Let's have another village over there. Keep extending that further this way. I should be able to put that there. Okay. So we still need village with a stupid amount of trees, but as long as I keep the chain, we're gold. 35 fields. Active forests. So this area is one big mega forest. And I can do with, do with it as I please. So as I... If I chain it that way, we're fine. Back to this. Plunk that there. Now we need another separate village. I guess I'm just going to put that one there. These people just exist off in nowhere. 35 trees. Should be good. Gonna need some houses. Well, that should count. Back to this. Extend to the farmlands. Ooh. I've just been kind of extending that that direction forever. Mainly because I can. So ten villages with ooh. Okay. that there. Alright, everything is good. Village with 13 fields. Oh. That's a problem. Because I've just been kind of extending my, my fields miscellaneously out. It seems like... Is this the one with 10? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. No. Who's the one with more? These guys. No, that's only five. Who's got ten? It's gotta be this stupid mega town. So I think we should connect it and then make a, a second smaller town to save myself some space. It's all part of one giant horror forest. I love it. Eh. It was straight for like two seconds there. There it goes. I just want that to keep going forever. That's the end of the line. I don't like the end of the line. Uh, let's go back to villages. If I do that, it dead ends, and that's actually totally, totally acceptable. Okay, so we need one more house, village with 13 fields, and three villages with at least seven houses. Oh, so I, I actually am going to have to expand some of these out. Okay. That's farm town. Yeah. Let's, let's do that. We've merged this, this giant area. 
That is all now one big thing. Every game needs more trains. Hell yeah, they do. Okay, so we've got to get three villages with at least seven houses. And we currently have one. I could connect... Oh, wait, no, 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 no. This is still part of Uber Village. Okay, so that's five houses. I might try and connect all that together, but it'll be tough. I'm just gonna keep... This is not aesthetically pleasing anymore. Uh, but that's okay. So there we go. That's seven. And then we might want to hook these together. Just because I can. Ooh. This one's actually a good candidate for... Village farming. Getting a lot of farmlands. Okay, here we go. Uh. Oh, four groups of trees. Oh no. Let's see. Groups of trees. There we go. I think that's just going to be village field. Okay. And if I plunk that there, they have at least seven. So that gets me six. Yeah, we're starting to run a little low. So I got to get it six groups of fields, village with 19 fields, and a village with 72 trees. I'm going to hook together Uber Village because we're going to get another task for more, probably. 13 villages with maximum four houses each. <laughs> this has got two, right? Oh, really? That was not the one that counted. Okay. Okay, that's a good break point. So I'm going to place that there. We want to split these things apart. I guess that's a good enough spot. Put this back over here. Separate one. Six groups of fields. Take a look at that. Where's a good split point for a field here? That's a good one. The question is, does that count as a forest tile? It does. If it has a single tree... Gotcha. Okay, village with stupid amounts of fields. What was it this one, I guess? Well, this is a... This is a standalone field. There's no village here. So I'm just going to keep extending that one further. 13 villages. Do we dead end any of these? Can't dead end there. Could dead end here. Yeah, I'll just dead end that so I have a little bit more wiggle room. Fill that out. Okay. So we need one more tree. Now, I think this is all one big, giant, gross forest. Yes? Yes. Like. Put that there. All right. What do we do next? Let's see. Group of fields with 87 trees. We're doing decent on that one. 13 villages. A village with 13. Okay. So that doesn't give me too much. I guess I'm just going to extend that there. We have an end point. Good end there. Realistically, the more dead ends we give, kind of the better.
It's a group of fields with 87 trees. I'm just going to do that. Okay. So I need a separate, another separate village. That'll do. There was something kind of pleasing about my super extendo set up there, but that's okay. Village with a bunch of separate fields. Okay. Another standalone tiny village. Another standalone tiny village. A little bit more forest. Give them the cap point. Space that a little, little bit. Okay, one more there. Group of a stupid amount of... Okay. These are good. Yeah, I can just have neighboring villages along this entire train, train track, and I can just separate them out. As long as there is a tree, it all becomes forest in the end. Uh, let's see. How much more rail... How many other rail spots do we have? We got this one. It doesn't really connect to the whole farm business, though. Doesn't really do too much. So I guess... I'm just going to stick that there. We'll figure it out later. Village with fields. Group of 383 trees. Well, that's easy. Ammo. Eight groups of trees. Oh, no. My biggest weakness. Luckily, I can filter for this and figure it out. Uh, let's see. Now, I want to extend to Uber Farm. I want to go back over here. Put that down. Life is good. There we go. I know where a lot of this stuff is going, but I figured I'd just kind of plonk it down. Make it work. Yeah, 130. Already doing much better than the last attempt. Yeah! I... I mean, once you kind of get the, uh, the basics for how this functions, it's actually super simple. Uh, let's see. Ten groups of trees. Gosh, I really did not prep myself for this sort of behavior. <laughs> But it's actually really easy to game almost all of this. Village with 46 houses. Oh, come here, you. Bam. Ten groups of trees. That part is tough. Uh, let's go over there. Group of 82 fields. Bam. Village with 51 houses. Yeah, my only fear... Actually, no, we don't really have to fear this too much. Because we can just keep extending Uber Village this way. Long, snaky arm of the whatever. Bang. Because, yeah, here's the thing. You don't actually really have to have much geographic sense. Like, this doesn't have to look good. There seems to be an optima, optimal strategy to tile placement. Yep. And a lot of it has to do with just extending weird parallel fingers out that never touch. And separating things apart. Is that accomplishing the objectives gives you more tiles? Yeah, it's super compelling. I love it. Okay. Do we have any... Yes. Seventeen villages with a maximum of four houses each. Yeah, I figured as much. I'm gonna just put that up in there. I'm trying to fill some of this out a little bit, just to keep things aesthetically nice. Okay, so that works out. We're doing shockingly well. Come on. Give me a good split. That's a crazy split. Okay, four villages with at least 11 houses each. 20 village with 21 fields. And a village with 55 houses. Well, there's 55. That's easy. Uh, 
Okay, so that doesn't have any fields. I'm just... Shh, don't worry about it. So that's Farmington. Farmington's gonna keep doing what it does. So we do need to expand some of these villages, though. Okay, so that's one, two, three. And all my other villages are actually shockingly small, so I should probably glom a couple of them together. Oh, they give me a separate group of trees. Really? Ow. I don't... I don't actually know. Uh, let's see. Go to this. Not a whole lot of places where I can separate my trees out. I don't want to do that spot, because that's kind of train town. No, that's not train town, that's farm town. Uh, you know what? Let's just go here. And extend a bit further if I can. Uh, villages. I could... I could connect some of these, but that would be... Maybe a mistake. Sadly, this still counts as a forest tile. How and why? Oh no. Okay. Probably close off some of these rail loops. See if I can get the chance. Oh, I need to make separate groups of trees too. What am I doing? Not enough. That's that's what I'm doing. It's actually connect the let's connect these villages. I got 11. Ooh, this is gonna hurt me. Okay, let's go back to trees. Probably do one more. Um, That'll give me four tiles. Let's see. Group of fields with 141 trees. Yeesh. Let's see. Is that not... Not sufficient? There we go. Okay, there's seven tiles. We're getting be in trouble here. I gotta be careful not to con connect some of these groups of trees. Because that'll actually set me back pretty bad. Yeah, speaking of groups of trees. Now, here's here's some farmland that's safe. If I extend it down here... There's an opening. Okay, admittedly, it's train only. Which is awkward. Okay, that extends the farmland. That's seven tiles. Ooh, we're nearing the end. And that one had none. Plunk that there. All right, 16 tiles. Group of fields with 141 trees. Yep. Have probably worked on that one a little, little bit harder, a little bit better, but it's fine. Oh, it's a group of oh, a group of fields with that many trees. Well, 
Oh, because this ain't connected. Okay, I'm going to long con there for a second. Oh, that is connected. Just not with the trees. 19 villages, maximum four houses each. And we do have a good separator here. Where do I put this spacer? Spacer down there is a good idea. So, separate village. See, 25 villages, 19 villages max each. So I can double up on those if we get lucky. I guess I'm going to keep extending Super Forest. I got that one. 25 villages, 8 groups of fields. Okay. Extend that out a little bit. Let me see. 17 groups of trees. This one's always the hardest. I think from my perspective. Because almost everything is trees. Everywhere. Okay. 25 villages. Switch back to this. Well... Luckily, we got some wiggle room up there, especially up in super farmland. Because I can just keep separating them all out. Look at this horrible exchange. If I was playing Roller Coaster Tycoon, I'd be kind of upset. Ten groups of fields. Oosh. Actually, not hard. not hard in the slightest. Uh, I guess I'll just put that one there. It's still counted as part of Super Forest. Okay, so I gotta make one more just miscellaneous house off on its own. That gets me a bunch of tiles. We are still going. I'm actually kind of shocked. Oh, let's see. 13 groups of fields. Village with 103 trees and group of 118 fields. All right, let's go back up here. Uh, you know what? Actually, let's get that one. Oh, it's yep. Village with 28 fields now. Easy peasy. Let's see, if I put that there, that's part of it, and that finally links that little bit. Village with 28 fields, okay. Group of 125, this is actually real easy. 13 groups of fields, village with 103 trees. Well, if I just keep extending that out like a goddamn goof, I totally can. Uh, ooh, here's a question. One neat part about my fields is I can actually extend a bunch of things. Up there, because a lot of a number of fields are not actually connected. Hmm. Probably fine. Okay, village with 103 trees, 13 groups of fields. Oh, group groups of fields. I gotta keep reminding myself on this one. Uh, where did I put it? I want to get the village with 113 trees. Oh, that's a separate one out. I don't know why this is such so much of an issue before me. Ooh. We got a good forest break. Where do I put it? Here? Yeah, I'm just going to keep extending those out there. All right. Groups of trees. Tough to do. 
Uh, let's clear that for a second. I've got the ability to finally close off one of these. <laughs> I like this rail line. Oh my gosh, I never looked at this. It's so dumb. Okay. Yeah, let's just close that off just because I can. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Group of 125 fields. So I gotta keep extending up here. I'm not gonna lie, this game's pretty neat. I really like it. It's not quite as deep as the Islanders game. I wish there were more tiles with unique effects. Churches and stuff that, like, would give bonus effects. Uh, train stations. Uh, maybe some kind of, like, mild financial situation so you're not just putting the weird double dead-ended railroad like I did right in the middle of the screen there. Like, that sort of thing actually would make this a little bit more interesting because as it stands, it's such a placid and fun experience. But it's also lacks depth and, like, I can effectively play this perpetually. Uh, I will finish up my run in the next episode and, uh... As far as I can tell, unless you're really, like, not playing right, you can pretty much play this endlessly. And that's nice, but I would love to be challenged a little bit more as I go along. And not just because the quests get harder, but because, you know, there's more toys to play with. Maybe. Either way, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. And don't forget, if you do want to pick this game up, it's part of the Bundle for Racial Justice and Equality, which is linked in the description below. And uh, they just added five new, 500 new games to that. So uh, <laughs> there's a lot of good ones in there.